Welcome back, ladies and gents. Them's the days. Hello, hello, hello. So, we're back in SOD. Oh my days, there's a blood feral straight away. Um, so, we've got these new st string of missions. This new string of missions to do. Um, oh my days, I should have brought a repair kit. And two missions are right next to each other. So, that's going to be like the main focus. Did that feral follow me? The colony? I don't like the colony. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. So we've got to find this memento for Michaela. I mean, I'm doing it for the influence, pal. <laughs> it's not for your benefit at all. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck! Absolutely not. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. It wants me to go down there. That can't be right. That can't be right at all, surely. Can it? Oh, maybe it can. Oh no, what is this down here? No? What? Hmm? Huh? Wasn't this place filled with bodies in the first game? It's been cleaned up pretty well, to be fair. We found a random energy drink laying about. Oh god, she can't do like... So, Pagan can do these really really awesome front executions, but for some reason Zhang can't, so I'm wondering if it's maybe because we've leveled Pagan up significantly more. Ooh, you bugger, get off. Come on! Holy shit, dude. I thought that zombie was getting back up. I was like, I've just taken your head off. <laughs> you should not be getting back up. Here we go. Well loved hippo stuffy. Okay, and then apparently. Oh, it's Hippo Thomas. Sure. And then apparently the thing we need is a compact incinerator. Oh, that's a whole lot of zombies over there. Oh, that's a whole lot of zombies in here. Oh god, it would be really great if you popped. Not near me! Not near me! Oh, good grief. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on, Zhang. That's fine, we can we can retreat out for a second. For a hot second. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. <laughs> this has not been an ideal start. A motherfucker. No, no, we're okay. We're okay. I don't think we can catch it. Oh! It's ironic because... Oh! Zhang is actually a hundred more um, resistant when it comes to infection. And of course, she's going to be the one that gets infected the quickly out of everyone. <laughs> um, okay. I didn't realise that there was going to be so many zombies inside of this place, to be entirely honest. But now that we've cleared them out, we're Gucci to just search. Finally, Boom, got it. Compact incinerator sorted. That's two missions down. We got the hippo, we got the incinerator. So let's go back to Michaela. We've also got... Uh, pardon me. We've also got a portable thing. We've got a portable thing. Hold up. What are we doing with this? What did we... What were we upgrading? I've already forgotten. I've completely forgotten. I can't remember. 
Knowledge of electricians. Electricians. Okay, so that's what that is for. To fix the plumbing, apparently. I guess we'll find out when we get back. Maybe it's like a latrine and a lounge in one. I don't know. Um, but we'll go back and we'll drop it off. We've got a portable generator to go take to the doctors. Which is going to be really, really cool. Because we can get their storyline on the go a little bit more. I think there's only like one or two missions after that for the doctor's storyline. So that's going to be pretty cool to do. And then we can start another mission for Chavez and get the base upgraded a little bit more. Um, I don't really feel like it's going to matter in which order we do these missions for the base. Oh, fucking... What did I say? What did I say last episode? You're taking the piss. You are having a giggle. What did I say about that goddamn bloater? It was in the floor. It was in the floor. Like, under the ground. I knew it! That is ridiculous. I shouldn't be surprised, but for some reason, I am. Thankfully, we're near the base. Yeah, don't worry, we got you sorted. We're not, we, we don't have any priests, unfortunately, if that's what you wanted. Okay, uh, just drop that off for a minute. So I can get my sins sorted out. There's been a lot going on. Thank you, you call me Grim. Thank you, Leo. That means a lot coming from you. Um, okay, hold up, because I've forgotten what I'm doing. <laughs> Right, we've made one of those. Boom. Zhang's Gucci. Zhang's back in action. She doesn't even have her goddamn mask on. Get your mask on. You're, you're lagging behind. There we go, you're officially a jug. I really don't like her having the same outfit as Pagan. I like that Pagan's got a really unique outfit. So I think we're gonna change what she's wearing. Um, but I just don't know really what to put on it. Maybe we could put the the basic red talon t-shirt on her. Yeah, and then on Leo we'll put the mechanic overalls back on him. There we go. Just so that we've got a little bit of variety going on. Okie doke. So now... Oh, I can start playing as Leo as well. Now that we've got two mechanics, we can start actually using them both. Even though Leo's health is really, really naff, and his stamina, apparently. Um, they're both really awful, but it's fine. We'll work with it. Uh, okay. So we're going to take the portable generator. We're going to take the well-loved hippo stuff here. We're also going to take those two pages. And we're going to drop off this gun. And take some fresh ammo. I was going to say, after he's taken like 80,000 years to reload the weapon, let's take a fresh, uh, a fresh melee. Uh, oh, and she's just around the corner, so we can run over to her to drop off this hippo stuff here. I don't really know if, like, I don't know if this is going to be a one-off, and that's it, or whether we're going to get another Fairfield story kind of mission, or whether she's going to ask to join us, or... I don't know what the situation is going to be. Can I see what you found? There we go. I gave this to Anthony when he turned two. He called it Hippo Thomas because he couldn't say hippopotamus. I really needed this. I can't even begin to thank you. Please accept this. You've more than earned it. It's nothing. Oh my God! We got some play cure. Moving on now. Being here without my family. It's just too much. Later, Essay. Okay, dope. Dope! Right, let's go drop these back off, and then we can hop in the car and bomb down to the doctors. Thankfully, the doctors aren't that far away. Um, they also, they want meds. Should we go help the colony of survivors? They're in a pretty decent position. I think maybe we should help them. 
Can we spare the meds? That's the real question. We're on 10. We do have this rucksack. I kind of did this mission more for the influence than anything else. Mm. I think maybe we can spare the meds. I just have like this bad feeling that they're going to continue to ask for more shit as we go along. I want to upgrade that. How are we doing materials wise? We're losing one. Oh, we're on a minus two meds. Absolutely not. Okay, they're not getting it. <laughs> they are not getting it at all. Let's also upgrade that now that we've got that sorted out. Oh, and we can start a new mission. So let's repair the workshop, the neglected workshop. Yo, Chavez, you out there? We need some help with the workshop at this place. Yeah, I think I know somebody who could help you out with your new place. Somebody? They were part of my unit when I was there, but I heard they're in town looking for a new crew. Oh my god! If you want me to reach out, stop by and I'll set up with me. We're not getting Chavez, we're getting somebody else. Okay, let's go visit Chavez to find out who it is. I remember a mechanic very vaguely from Heartland, but surely we're not getting a Heartland character like straight up. And I want to, but it just feels like something they wouldn't do. It'll be really, really sad if we do get somebody and they die. Oh, he's in a really, really cool place back here. Holy shit. Chavez! Hello, friend! Is it Vic, maybe? The person I'm thinking of is looking for a place to live. That sound fair? Sure. We've got the spare bed. Hey, amigo. It's Chavez. You still looking for a bunk? Dice? A talent technician? I don't remember a dice, but that sounds cool. Travel to meet Dice. So Dice is back up there. So what we're going to do is we'll swing round down to the bottom of the map to go drop off this portable generator. And then on our way back, we will go pick up Dice. Things are going pretty well. I'm enjoying this. I really, really wish that they'd done more of this with just the general base game because, like... These little stories and opportunities are so fucking fun. Especially if, like... For example, if you've got a character like Chavez, who you know has been through other shit, and you can recruit them into your team and create them as, like, a legacy character, that adds so much more. And then if they die, it's, like, more impactful. So, I kinda hope... You can? And, like, with characters like Hoffman and Mickey Wilkerson and stuff, they don't have to die in canon. You know, you can always bring them back at a later date. Um, you know, in my playthrough, Vic died. But in this canon, I'm assuming that entire team survived. So, like, we might come across Vic. He doesn't have to be dead. <laughs> but, yeah, I find it... Very, very interesting. It's a cool thing that they've done, and I'm a fan, and I hope they do it more. Brilliant. So that's that sorted. And then we can turn around and go grab Dice. So we've got a new recruit. I don't know if Dice would wear the Juggernaut mask. Maybe he would. I don't know if, like, the Juggernaut masks are real or whether they're like latex ones <laughs> i, I kind of like the concept of them being real tanned juggernaut masks but it's kind of grim i don't know if you can like just recruit anybody and have it make sense that they would agree to wear the juggernaut masks just because of how fucking awful it is i don't know maybe they can just convince that maybe dice is a little bit fucking unhinged who knows Maybe he's down for it. He's like, hell yeah, why not? We're, we are really building like a decent group though. Leo is probably the weakest out of the whole bunch so far, depending on how good Dice is. Or oh, Dice is going to have a unique outfit as well. Look, if we're going to team up, I need to know you got skills. Cool. 
So this guy used to know stashed a lot of stuff by this busted ass. Oh shit, the bed. I've been meaning to go check it out, and now seems like the right time. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. We can come back here to get the rest. What are we doing? Travel to the stash by the bridge. Okay, we can do that. Get in. <laughs> I'm fine doing that. Completely fine. Let's roll. So yeah, I've tried to make uploads daily. Um, some of them, I've mentioned it before, some of them might be a little bit shorter than others. So far, they've been closer to an hour. Um, just because I've been really, really enjoying it. It's a lot easier for me to do longer episodes when I'm enjoying it. Um, but that doesn't mean if <laughs> short episodes start going out, it doesn't mean I'm not enjoying it. It's just, that, that's I'm just saying, okay? Just saying. Gimme that shit. Ugh. Good grief. God, I could murder a Chinese. A takeaway, not a person. <laughs> I felt like I needed to clarify. <laughs> oh, God, some egg fried rice. Oh, God, I love egg fried rice. Good grief. <laughs> out of context, uh, context, out of context, that probably sounded really horrific. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of Chinese takeaway when we arrived here. I saw the car and I was just like, hmm, really want to go get a Chinese. I don't have the money for it though. We are putting off the Chinese. Return home. Can you move? There we go. Right, get him. We're going to take your home dice. And then we've done our sort of like first string of missions. We should be building up quite a bit of influence. I'm deliberately avoiding the play cards at the moment because um, I want to be prepared when we get to them. And knowing that if I don't take out too many, the game's uh, difficulty won't increase to like a stupid amount is really, really helping me out here. <laughs> um. <sighs> oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to put that back, but it's fine. We can, uh, we can be a team. We can be a team. Talk to Dice about joining your community. Dice. Demolitions, get your ass in here. I think Dice would definitely be down to wear the mask. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, we need some mats. Okay, well, I mean, at least we've got, like, that section sorted. Um, let's have a look. So, he gets more ammo storage and more fuel storage. He uses an extra bed, which is a little bit of an issue. He increases zombie threat. A minus 66% to standing rewards. Extra health. Uh, less injury severity, and he's more resistant, uh, more resistant against blood plague. So he's a pretty good survivor, actually. He's he's a pretty good one. His health is really good. Holy shit! I've never seen somebody with like 190 health, have I? Oh, Zhang's got 190. Never mind. I'm chatting shit. Let's get your mask on. Uh, boom. <laughs> Our group is really good. This is like one of the best groups that I've had so far for a playthrough of SOD, and we haven't lost anybody yet. Alright, so we're going over to a survivor activity mission. Uh, what I've done is I've started installing mods into some of the facilities back at base, and I'm realising that actually a lot of the facilities back there are really, really good. Uh, so like the workshop can power itself, um and can periodically repair weapons, which is insane. Um, there's like some stuff to do with the lounge, like the lounge is also a latrine, but then like it can also apply some command center style abilities, which is pretty cool. We'll sort of take a glance at it at some stage, uh, but for now we want to do this. 
Uh, okay. <clears throat> right behind you. I will definitely be searching this, Step since we didn't get to earlier. Not gonna fit. Okay, uh, I'm... I think I'm just gonna give the materials to her, because I just don't... Can't really be bothered going over to another location, to be, f to be fair. I just cannot be bothered. Uh, but yeah, so, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Now that we've got dice on, on hand, now that we're sort of getting into the gist of things, not rushing too quickly through the, uh, through the play cards, sort of taking them out at a fairly consistent rate, um, dice came with 6c4, which is pretty insane, actually. Uh, and if memory serves me correctly, which it usually doesn't, but... If memory serves me correct, I'm pretty certain you can take out at least three play cards with 6c4 because I think if you take it down a level and then use a c4 and then take it down another level and like sort of use the c4 towards the end of that, it should be quite, it should go out quite quickly, way, if that makes sense. I'm fumbling over my words. This reward will have to do. I mean, I will take... Oh! Craftsmanship. I mean, she's... Oh, she's kind of bad. I don't know. Do we have the room? Not really. If we... If we repair the beds, then yeah, we kind of have the room. Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should just take her in as, like, an expendable character that we can play as for a little bit. Is it really worth it? We've got somebody with construction already. I don't think it's worth it, to be entirely honest. I think we're just going to have to leave it. I think for once I'm going to have to turn somebody down. I'm usually somebody that will try and recruit everybody at every opportunity that I have, so that I have plenty of spare people. But I'm just thinking, like, morale-wise and food-wise and stuff, we're just not in a good position for that. Um, so I'm just not going to. Let's go ahead and whack that in there. Okay, so we have the influence to grab another outpost. I've installed a signal antenna uh, over in the command center. And obviously when we get knowledge of computers and materials, we'll be able to upgrade that. Uh, we need more mats to upgrade that, but we can boost the yields. Uh, Boosting the yields will give us like four, which will be a minus six, which is okay. We can cope with that. We can cope with that loss. We are definitely going to need a food outpost. 100% going to need a food outpost. Maybe we should get one sort of in this area if we can. There's a swine and bovine. Um... I'm thinking like maybe somewhere here so that when I come over to like clear all of this out it's just a little bit easier to access. Um, yeah, let's go with this place and also it should decrease the amount of zombie spawns so that clearing out this area is going to be a lot easier. They want a backup buddy. Hobson. Who was Hobson? Are they... Okay, they were on the fence about us. They're probably going to turn hostile if we don't do this mission. I would imagine they want to take out either a play cart or an infestation and they want some backup. I forgot that we had that outpost down there. Um, okay. What I'm thinking is we secure a food outpost nearby. And we kind of just, we focus on just using that as like an extension of our base. Oh, go away, you bastard. Uh, that's the only thing I can really think of, because while I'm searching Fairfield, I don't really feel like I need, like, any kind of, like, outpost support while clearing Fairfield. Fairfield is, like, a really close-together kind of, like, little village, so I don't really see the point in, like, going over the top and, Enjoy peace eternal, you know, asshole. making sure I've got outposts scattered all around Fair Fairfield just in case I mess something up. I feel like I'm probably going to be okay, he says. I do not know where I am. <laughs> I was meant to... I was... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I need to go drop off this stuff. I didn't realise, though. 
and then I got confused with myself. This is a really good base though, this is like one of the best bases, like not design wise, I think it's really bad design wise. I don't like the layout of it or anything, but for like the facilities that you get and everything within it, it's really really good, it's a really solid base. Um, I'm pretty impressed actually that they came up with it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we can go help her, I don't mind. I mean, I, yeah, I don't mind going to do this mission, especially if it's going to get me some Cleo drops. Which, we can call in ourselves, but it's just going to cost a lot of influence, so I'm, I'm sort of against doing it at the moment. Okay, let's clear this place and claim it. Uh, nope. Ow. That's nice -ish. Who else is in here? How are things going with that project of mine? Oh, Hobson, give me a rest. I don't care if I have to take out another Enclave. I don't, <laughs> I'm not bothered. <laughs> we'll take out another Enclave if I've got to. If they're going to be dicks and rush me about. How do I claim this place? Like, where's the little outpost thing? Uh, okay, let's put that in there with that. Hello? Where is it? Nothing here. Surprise. Why am I missing this? Don't they literally always look the same? It's like the same little marker in every single building. How am I missing it? Is there not one here? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm not- <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. There might be somebody fucking screaming at me telling me that I'm just fucking being stupid, but I cannot find it. I'll do one more run around the outside to double check, but otherwise... Okay, well, we're going to change plans anyway. I will come back. <laughs> we'll try and get a different... We'll try and get a different one. We'll try and get, get a different food outpost that's maybe a little bit further away. Because it does feel like a little bit of a cop-out having an outpost so close to home. Especially one that I'm going to really need to keep around for a while. So I feel like I should put in the effort to put it in a good position. Like, that materials outpost is in such a good position because I need to go down there and search all of that area soon. Okay. Drop those off. Um, I'm gonna restock on gas and we will put a spare gas can in the back. And then we will go help Isby. Uh, I don't really know what this mission is gonna be, but I don't know, I really like doing these missions. Especially on the harder difficulty, it just gives me something a little bit different to do. Tartan Mart. Oh, is she in Spencer's Mill? It looks like it. From how far away that marker is, it definitely seems like it. Yeah, I'm interested to see, like, what you guys are thinking of this update. Like, do you, do you guys enjoy it? Are you, are you liking the new map? Do you like the new weapons? You know, like, I don't really watch other YouTubers do, like, video game stuff anymore, because it's just not really something that, like, I'm that interested in. How do I? Oh, I'm going the right way. Like, I don't really watch SOD content. Um... I'm not really, like, up to date on big SOD YouTubers apart from Get Good Fox, and that's it. Uh, and I don't really watch, like, other video game content unless I'm looking at, like, new update features or, you know, like, something for Minecraft. Um, so I'm interested to see kind of, like, what the public reception is for this update. Because it is a big update. It's, it's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Um... They really did put the effort into this one. I feel like with kind of like the difficulty increases, it's been quite easy to just kind of like palm off the game and just be like, oh, well, I didn't really like it on the normal difficulty, so why would I like it on a harder one? Um, 
But I think with Plague Territories and with Homecoming, it's been some big changes. It's a completely different game to how it was a year ago. I don't need you to explain. I- oh! Oh fucking hell, I picked up my goddamn can to have a drink. Holy shit. Oh, <clears throat> good grief. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Can I not see somebody's hero bonus until- I guess until they become a hero. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, We didn't check. <gasps> so Dice is a trader. Uh, and Zhang is a warlord, of course. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Are we going? Uh, Eastern Farmlands. Let us roll! Get him. Hop in. So, we're downloading Clio schematic things, downloads. To repair the other one. Them? What are you talking about? I mean, Cleo. Doc calls them her, but I don't assume Cleo thinks of themselves as female, you know? Okay. Uh, right. Whatever you say. We're about to download an AI that's been bouncing around satellites for years. Can you believe this? Hold on. Not really. Cleo is an artificial intelligence. Didn't I mention that before? Sorry. No, I didn't know Cleo was an AI. That's really fucking advanced for, like, where I thought SOD was set. I thought SOD was set in, like, sort of 2010. I don't, I don't really know why. I don't know if there's really any evidence to support that. That's just kind of like, the vibe I got from it was kind of like, early 2000s. But I guess maybe it's more, a little bit more modern. Okay, well. Oh, fuck. I know I could have used the car to clear these, but I really don't want to damage the car any more than it already is. Oh my days. This isn't easy, so I need you to keep the Zeds away from me. Yeah, I had a feeling that that would be the point of this mission. I hope I'm right about this. There we go. I'm initiating the signal now. Is it going to be loud? I'm gonna try. That idea feels really sketchy to me. Score one for me. Come on, Zhang. You beast. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not rushing you, I'm just saying, can you do it a little bit quieter? Like, whose fucking idea was it to make this thing loud as balls? It's meant to be like a military thing. Oh shit, I just got a fucking gardening textbook, suck my dick. What was that? I thought I just heard a jug. That's wonderful. Halfway? There's only 20 seconds left. It better be fucking more. Ah. Oh my days. Yep, cheers. 
Okay. Are we alright? We had a couple of moments there, but I think we're alright. Okay, now let's see if it worked. Oh, how do we know? Hey, we just pulled the most complicated computer program in existence out of a network of orbiting satellites. Why are those satellites not like crashing down? I hear you. Is it self-sustaining in some way? The doc rigged up a talk box for Cleo. I just need to hook them up and there. All connected. Cleo, can you hear us? <clears throat> I'm Got auto tune apparently. We did it. They can hear us. I've got to get this back to the dock. Thank you so much. Don't stress it. See you later. Okay. <laughs> oh my days. This is taking like a really weird sort of turn. I didn't really expect any of this to happen. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay. How the hell do we get out of here? Uh, I kind of want to go get my gilded cookery from the bounty. <gasps> Pardon me. Oh my god. That one I like inhaled and the burp came out somehow. <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> oh my days. Okay, we only lost five food, which is good. Somehow, wait, did we just gain some food? I thought we were on like 12... <gasps> I've got to give over. I've got to give over with this off-road shit. It's risky business. I really wish we could get his car because it's really cool. Might we chat for a bit? Yeah, give me this. There we go. Right, what else we got? Dismember thirty-five plague zombie legs. Let's do also do this one. No, I don't really want a mark. Um. Okay, yeah, we'll do we'll do this. It looks okay. I mean, it's a revolver. It's not the best, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, right. What else have we got? I mean, we could go speak to Hobson about this backup buddy thing. Just so that like they don't fucking turn on us. At least if we activate the mission, we'll we should get like a follower on us. What I'm thinking is, if it is a backup buddy mission, as I'm assuming it is with, like, having somebody come with me to do something, we might be able to take out, like, a play cart or something. So, it could be worth doing. Uh, I just, I don't really know, like, whereabouts we want to be tackling play carts. I know that we've got one near our base, but to be honest, it's not really causing us an issue. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe something further down here. Oh, there was, there was the outpost that I wanted down here, weren't there? I wonder if there's a food one I can grab. Is that a food one? Oh, it is a food one. <gasps> We're getting this. I didn't realise that I wanted to claim a food outpost. I thought it was a gas station. The one that was over the road. Oh, we are 100% taking this. Holy shit. Okay, brilliant. Okay, ah. you and we've still got a final slot for an extra one. Some time and make it even uh, so what I'm thinking is maybe we try and get either another materials one or maybe an ammo one. I think materials might be a little bit better. My chest is hairy. Sorry, I was scratching my chest. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's like stroking a dog. <laughs> uh, there's the gun shop there that we could use. But I like the idea of having an, an outpost like over here. So maybe we should try and build towards that. Uh, like maybe even if it's like the Bronto gas. Because we this one is in a really bad position. Oh, a survivor in need. We can come over to you. I don't mind coming over. Especially if you're going to follow me around. Okay, we'll go 
We'll go pick up this person. See what they want. Hopefully, it'll be somebody that will follow us around, and then we can go down to Hobson and grab somebody. And hopefully get another person to follow us around. And we'll be Gucci. Uh, hello? Is it me you're looking for? Oh, I see a gas can in there. Let me at that. Is that it? Yoink. I heard all over. Uh, oh, painkillers. I can look for painkillers, pal. I thought that, oh never mind, I fucking, I don't know, I thought you were going to follow us somewhere. Never mind, let's go get the dude from Hobson. <laughs> Good grief. Oh my god, there's a feral right there. I thought I'd heard one earlier, but I just didn't want to like, really think about it. I was like, nah, it'd be fine. Oh my god. Okay. We'll just swing down, we'll go get we'll go get a follower from Hobson and then we will probably tackle a play cart. Ooh. I'm just glad that we're getting some more food. I think we're only getting like two from the outpost, but some is better than none. Especially at this point. Like we can Oh I wonder. I wonder, like, what's in there, because wasn't there the Haven thing for for Cleo? I wonder if there's stuff in there that we could take. I don't know, it might be worth us trying to set up an outpost a little bit closer to that. We've still got an upgrade for the command centre to do once we've got electronics, so what I'm thinking is... Um, we use our final slot, or we drop, like, the fuel outpost and go get a different one closer to Spencer's mill so that we've got an outpost out there and then um, we use our final one to just kind of like put down tactically somewhere oh that's quite a horde Heads up. Over here. hello Hobson come with me Awesome. Yeah, we are going to go straight to that garage. Definitely going to go to that red garage and not going back to base. <laughs> we're definitely, definitely... In fact, no, we're not going back to base. We are actually going over there because I can go get some stuff without having to go back to base. Come with me now. We can probably grab some painkillers as well for this, uh, this survivor activity, dude. Okay, let's swing around. Let's go grab some loot. I need to get enough stuff to take out a play cart. Which should be pretty easy because we've got quite a bit of stuff at the moment. We're doing okay. Especially with a C4 we just got from Dice. Uh, okay. Where do we want to be tackling one? That's the thing. See, that's covered by two. One that we haven't even discovered down there. There's one up there. I don't really know if there's anything up here that I'm going to need to immediately search, though. There's one out near the Wilkerson place. Um, some up here, but I don't really see the point of me having an outpost up here. It's too far out. Yeah, I think we're definitely just going to have to go for one of these locations. I think maybe we should try and take out this one. Because it's like kind of on the edge. And then we can try and discover where the third one is. Because it looks like there's three in this entire area. Does that provide anything? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's grab what we need. Uh, where is... Where's the little supply thing? I claimed it, so there's one at this one. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm just blind. Nothing new then. Uh, we'll take some weak painkillers. Uh, 
Uh, okay, what are we going to need? I want to put that on, just because it's a little bit lighter. Can I trade these with you, Hobson? No. Oh, you've got a, a, an open skill, though. That's pretty cool. Is there a way for us to learn the computing skill from getting an outpost? Because that would really be ideal. Uh, I'm going to take frags. And one of those. Do I want to take any more? I'm going to take some molotovs as well, just in case. Okay, so fingers crossed that should be enough for me to take out a play cart. We shouldn't have to use all of it. Um, let's go down to the survivor in need and drop this off. And then we will continue driving all the way round to Spencer's Mill to see if we can clear out that play cart. Um, but yeah, I think like... There's been something with this map where it's like, it's, how do I, how do I phrase this? It's more appealing than playing on the other maps. I think it's because of the, the history of the map and like the lore and stuff. If they've, if they would have added in kind of like some of these style missions onto some of the other maps to kind of build them out a little bit better, I think it would be a lot more fun to go out and play on them. Um, and I mean, the other maps are fun to play on. Apart from Drucker County. Uh, but you didn't hear that from me. Oh, maybe we should swap. Hello. I kind of want to swap this. This is low on uh, fuel anyway. Oh my god, we're going to take a military truck. Keep me covered, Hobson. Oh my god. And it's got some smoke grenades. As if that's actually good. I don't know why I said that as if it's beneficial. Let's repair this thing and we'll get out of here. God, we are like in such a good position so far. Apart from the fact that the doors are missing. Um, <laughs> we're in such a good position. Do I need to use a, a, a second toolkit? Because I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I think we do. Uh, go quicker. Uh, uh, go stupid. There we go. Oh, we've got like three. Holy shit. Is this like a completely new design for a military truck? I think there's there's not usually white ones in the game, are there? They're, they're usually just the grey ones. The silver. This looks completely new, but I don't know. But yeah, we're in like a really good position with like the truck that we just got, um, the group of survivors we've got is probably like the strongest overall group I've ever had on like, especially a lethal or a nightmare run this early on. Um, I mean, we're taking out play carts so far pretty well. I don't want to jinx myself, but um, oh, I just almost took some play cure. Cooey, I've got you some weak painkillers, pal. Well, I don't know what, I would have done you. what day are we on? <gasps> oh, it's Sunday! The Walking Dead comes out today! Oh, I'm so excited! So me down. I fucking... I hate that I have to wake... Wait, uh, wake. That, I, I hate that I have to wake. Um, I hate that I have to wait, like, an entire week to watch an episode of The Walking Dead because I'm so used to sitting and binging it. <laughs> And I really wish that I could get into the spin-offs, but I really just don't enjoy Fear the Walking Dead. I know that some people say that it's, like, better than the main show, um, or at least, like, the earlier seasons are. And I know that there's, like, is it World Beyond? They're bringing Jadis into World Beyond, so I really want to watch that, and I think I might end up enjoying that more than Fear the Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead's just too slow for me. Which is ironic, because of how many episodes of just the regular Walking Dead there are, but I don't know, I just can't force myself to binge it. But yeah, I'm like super fucking excited for like every single week, <laughs> as soon as the episode drops, I get so excited for it. It's such a weird feeling after you go years just binging shows.
there's kind of a bit of a horde outside of this heart, so I'm wondering if maybe it's worth me trying to take this horde out. But it looks like that's a screamer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, you are joking. There we go. Okay, go, 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 go. Ba, 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 ba. I got a rest. Okay, we Gucci. <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's do this. You ready, Hobson? Where is it? There it is. Okay, brilliant. And we can hop out the window. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I did not expect there to be so many already here. Oh my god, okay. Okay, fuck me. Okay, fuck me. Okay, fuck me. Okay, fuck me! Just fucking clear all of those out of there. God damn. Does that get rid of some of my fatigue? I don't know. I don't want to risk it just in case it doesn't. Oh, do a little bit of extra damage to it. Abducted? I mean, I, I can help you guys, but you're going to have to wait. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a pickle. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Okay, we lost Hobson. Nope! Don't you dare. Okay, was that- there was a plague sample. I was gonna say, I'm sure I saw that. Give me that. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh my days, I have so little stamina right now. Oh my fuck. There we go. Okay, woohoo! Oh, get out of the window! Screamers with explosives, do do do. Okay, okay, okay. Get in the car. Get in the car. Ah, we didn't need it. Oh, get off me doors. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh, get off. Okay, use that. There we go. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we can claim the outpost. Oh, fantastic. Holy shit, that was close. Right. Whew. So we're gonna get rid of this one, because we don't want it. We're gonna abandon that, and we're gonna claim this one. Just because this one's in a much better position, or it would be if it wasn't full of zombies. There goes my last shot. 
What? Okay. Nope. Oh, 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 we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh my god. Claim this place. Boom! We've done it. Oh. Is B. Yeah. 